Zilantas is a leading manufacturer of insulting and also protective materials with focus on the global electrical and also electronics industry. So, Marcus, you are an expert on vacuum potting and your lecture today here at Scheugenflug Tech Days was about vacuum resin successful together. So maybe you can give us a wrap up. What was it all about? Hello, Claudia. Thanks to be here and for the, for, for the exhibition and Scheugenflug Tech Days. Uh, thanks for your questions and yes, Elantas is an expert in uh, producing and manufacturing chemicals for electrical insulations and we apply this together also with joint fluke machines uh, and other vacuum and uh, so today we have the chance to present our audium and auditors uh, to have the, the, uh, to have an uh, impression about the, the, the possibility what, what is what is possible using a vacuum uh, application method uh, in combination with resins to protect uh, protect uh, the electrical parts and devices. So the key points the key points are if you if you want to produce a very high quality product and electrical parts like a motor, transformer, capacitors, or so on, it's highly recommended to use a vacuum uh, potting or vacuum application method you know, to avoid uh, air bubbles, to uh, have a better conductivity to the substrates and so on and so on. So vacuum together with resins build up a successful possibility to produce high quality parts. So and successful can have any meaning. So what especially did you mean? So successful in this content means you have a part with a high uh, long liberty, so reliability for more years. You have parts uh, and electrical devices which, which are uh, fulfilling the requirements for long liberty uh, without breakdowns, failure mode and so on. And that's a success if you use a well-controlled vacuum process with the right resins to your electrical or electronical part. Okay, and my last question would be what are the latest developments in regards to uh, resins and what trends do you see? Yes, the uh, latest, the latest uh, developments in regarding the resins is more or less beside of technical requirements we have also from the market. Uh, are more driven by uh, environmental, healthy and safety reasons. So regulatories from the ministries are more and more applied to the, uh, to the chemist chemistry industry. Then we have the second uh, point of reducing uh, emissions, reducing energy costs and so on. So our resins have to be more and more if reactive or effective to produce or uh, react in, in a part so that our end customer and, and, uh, and, and users can save energy in their production costs. And the last point, of, of course, uh, you know, to reduce as well uh, CO2 footprints, uh, emissions and so on to our own production. That is the driving forces we are struggling at the moment and uh, we are challenging. Okay, so Marcus, thank you very much for your time and of course I'm wishing you lots of success and a great uh, day here at the Tech Days. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Claudia.